Welcome to PTC Asia 2021 online guided tour second day. And now we are at Transailing Company and with me now Julio. <laughs> Good morning, how are you today? Good morning, Alex. Thank you. <laughs> I correct you. Uh, our company name is SFR. Uh, SFR. Yeah, I'm going to introduce a little about SFR. Yeah. But because Transailing Industry Group is? Yes, TSI is our overseas trading company. Okay. So SFR is an umbrella group mm -hmm. that covers several uh, brands like okay. Elephant that you can see yes, is, our, Elephant. Yeah. is our main brand for the domestic industry for China. Okay. And then we have SFR, which is mainly known for motorcycle chain, which is not featured here because it's an industrial chain show. Mm -hmm. And then TSI is our brand for overseas uh, trading business. Okay, so yeah, it well, looks like a really big portfolio of the, of the companies. Well, yeah, <laughs> that's what we're trying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and yeah, maybe you will do a little bit of introduction of the company you're introducing now. Uh, maybe new products with new something themes, activities you came up with PTC Asia this year. Sure. Um, well, as I told you, SFR is a group of companies. Mm -hmm. The new feature that we are introducing this show is that we are actually celebrating our 30th anniversary. Actually, as we are, right? Yes, so, PTC. Yeah, so we PTC. are celebrating <laughs> together. Yeah. And um, yeah, because of that, we have a, a slightly bigger booth and we brought a bigger uh, portfolio of samples. Mm -hmm. We're a big company. We're, we're one of uh, China's largest manufacturers of industrial chain. Mm -hmm. We have four manufacturing facilities. One of them is quite new. Mm -hmm. uh, it opened earlier this year and it has doubled our capacity in industrial chain. Mm -hmm. We have two factories for motorcycle chain no. and um, well as you can see we are we are only featuring some of our wide uh, range of chains but we have like small pitch conveyor chain, larger pitch conveyor chain, much bigger than this as well but they were oh. they were too heavy to, to, <laughs> to carry. Agricultural chain range, very popular in the Chinese market as well. Uh, leaf chain and standard roller chain. Leaf chain is a very hot product now for the forklift industry uh, yes, and for intelligent cement, yeah. parking systems okay, and so on. And also there you can see some of the change range for um, the wood industry, the wood and timber industry, which we are one of the leading suppliers worldwide. So, yeah, so this really yeah big oh, range. No, we have much more than that much more than that well, and, and don't let me start it about uh, uh, motorcycle chain oh, it's, uh, yeah, so. it's another booth right another show actually <laughs> <laughs> ah to motor show you are attending motor show or not we're actually we're also at in Qingdao right now Qingdao mm. we have a there is an agricultural show going on but it's only mainly for agricultural chain uh, one month ago we were in Chongqing in the motorcycle trade show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're all, I mean, this is the trade yeah. show business, you know. And what about like uh, customers? You probably basically have the customers from all like main industries, right? Like, but maybe there is one industry that uh, like you cover the most? Uh, or you cannot tell? Regionally, probably. I mean, as, as I told you, in China, the um, agricultural mm -hmm. uh, chain industry is probably bigger than mm -hmm. in other countries. Uh, in Europe, I mean, in, in, in Europe is probably the that timber and wood industry is mm -hmm. very big. But of course, Europe is, we manufacture for big brands. So mm -hmm. it's uh, bigger brands that then they ship overseas. I would say that we are the number one manufacturer of timber chain mm -hmm. and there are other brands. Also, palm oil chain is uh, is very popular in Southeast Asia. I would say that we are one of the top three manufacturers mm. of palm oil chain as well. It depends on, on Markets, every, right? on every market. In Latin America, roller, standard roller chain and also agricultural chain are, are strong. Mm. Uh, yeah, we, we, we sell to more than 90 countries worldwide. Okay. As we know, <laughs> probably more. To yeah, our, yeah. To our distributors and traders. And what do you think, like, uh, how your products can uh, help to develop the whole industry, like to facilitate industry? Well, if you, I mean, power transmission industry, is, it, it goes back one and a half centuries. Mm -hmm. if, when when the, the beginning of the Industrial Revolution took place yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in Great Britain. So, of course, uh, power transmission chain has been working hand in hand with, uh, with innovation mm -hmm. all the time. Right now, we are a manufacturer of uh, mechanical goods. Yes. So we innovate inwards 
by automating our production processes. All our, our, our standard roller chains, most of our production lines are fully automated. Mm -hmm. um, but also the, the, the innovation industry, because in, the industry innovates very fast these days. So there's yeah, always new things. needs, new products. So what we also do is adapt very fast to the, to the requirements of the industry. I mentioned earlier about lift chain. Lift chain is very hot now because of all these yes. smart E-commerce, yeah. yeah. It's not only the forklifts, but smart logistic mm -hmm. warehouses, yes, 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 smart yes. parking places. We also have uh, we have developed very fast a special chain for the globe industry, the plastic globe industry, uh -huh. the rubber globe industry for oh, all these um, new needs worldwide because of the pandemic. Yes. So that's what we do. We try to evolve and adapt to our customers' needs and to the needs of the industry. Yeah, I think like being really like. Uh, quickly uh, uh, like a company like especially in these times and corona show it like if a company is has a really quick like possibilities abilities to adapt it's actually this is one of the advantages especially in now like quickly changing world right we all face an experience with coronavirus and everything yeah and like talking about the service what do you think uh, what kind of service you provide uh, like additionally maybe to your customers or you provide just product well, that's, uh, that's also fun. Well, not funny. I mean, we, we, we have been always been a manufacturer and that's one of our key advantages. We are not a trader, we are a direct manufacturer and that's our core uh, mm, business. However, we've been trying to evolve into delivering a full service to customers from uh, technical advice at the early stages of quotation and design of the needs through manufacturing, through improving the, the products to save costs and also to improve the... the, the uh, yeah, to, to results, improve the life, yeah, the yeah. life expectancy and the, and the, yeah, of the chain. But also going to offering a logistics service door-to-door -door ah. if needed to, to customers. Not through us, of course, we're not a logistic yeah, yeah. supplier, but we, we, try to, we try to offer the best um, the best purchase uh, experience to our customers possible. Yeah. So, and you probably, if you have like a, your representatives all over the world, so probably you covering as well. Like uh, your service uh, service centers are like in all companies that you have abroad as well, right? So you're covering all or not? Well, not really. We have just we, points. We, so. we are we are actually in China. We have four factories in China. Mm -hmm. But we work through this through this distributors, uh -huh. and our distributors we treat them as partners. Uh -huh. So we go to Mexico and we find a distributor in Mexico, and okay. he becomes our official, our, our, the face of our company yes. there. And so we we will give them all the all the support that we can. We we have uh, distributors in uh, Indonesia, in Israel, in South Africa. Just name it. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, like in the industry, in this industry at the present, the competition is really, really like intense, and of the product. So, how do you see the future trends of the? Well, what we've seen in the in the recent times is that there's a lot of consolidation in the industry. So, companies uh, melting or, or joint venturing together horizontally as well as vertically and I don't see why this trend would, shouldn't stop. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to go further and further and that's actually the way that our company has grown from a local manufacturer of motorcycle chain to one of the biggest groups of, of uh, industrial chain in China by acquiring other companies always focusing on quality and uh, on uh, good quality price ratio. We also stress uh, quality control mm -hmm. because some of our biggest customers are European, American brands that require the highest yes. uh, quality standards. Um, but in your question, you were telling me, sorry, because... Uh, no. <laughs> About the future trends. Yeah, yeah, the, the future yeah, trends, yeah, I'm already, I'm okay. already asking. <laughs> okay, so any, uh, any activities like plans, uh, the planned on the 30th anniversary, or you did it earlier this year? Yeah, we've, we've been throughout the year with all yes. the, especially on the motorcycle chain. Uh, chain show in Hangzhou earlier this year because it was being held in our hometown. Ah, yes. So that's where we held the big chunk of, the big chunk of, uh, of uh, celebrations. Mm -hmm. We've invited uh, professionals from the industry to visit mm -hmm. our, our factory in Hangzhou. Mm -hmm. And um, 
Yeah, I mean, yeah, bigger booth this year, but of course we knew that uh, PTC was going to be more locally uh, yeah. oriented this year yeah. because of the pandemic. Yes. I mean, the pandemic is a is a big challenge, but it's, it's got it's like you, you mentioned about the competition earlier. <laughs> Seriously, big competition is the least of our troubles right now. Yes, because it is. Because of the pandemic, the increase of the price of uh, raw materials of steel. And logistics, and logistics. Yeah, logistics. Right now, the biggest challenge for everybody in the industry uh, yeah, is the logistics. logistics yeah. yeah, and uh, have you ever been presented at Hanover Messe in Germany? Excuse me. At Hanover ah, Messe. Messe. Yeah, of course. We, Our mother is exhibition. We, we, we're just waiting for it to reopen again. We are and, too. <laughs> yeah, and also that they allow us back in China because that's the biggest problem. Yes. They reopen, but of course we've been uh, showcasing in in mm -hmm. Hanover Messe. Yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah, it was really nice to talk to you. Thank you for sharing and happy birthday as well. Thanks for visiting us and thank you very much. Yeah, and I hope to see you next year, like sure. as at PDC Asia and maybe at Hanover Messe as well. PDC Asia, Hanover Messe, or even Industrial Transformation Mexico from the same. Ah, yes, as well. We Our attended the first uh, edition. Ah, okay. Thank you. You're welcome.